Gmail has a built-in forwarder that helps you automatically forward emails to, from Gmail to another email address, but there are some limitations with that forwarder. The biggest limitation is that you can only forward emails to addresses that are owned by you. Gmail requires you to verify the ownership of the forwarding address before you can send emails to that address. The other limitation is that Gmail forwarder only works on new email. So if there are a bunch of emails in your mailbox that you would like to forward to another email address, you simply can't do that with Gmail. Uh, very, very simply, all you do is log into your Gmail or Google Apps, go to the settings, the icon of the, the gear icon and click on settings. And then you want to go to forwarding and pop IMAP and under forwarding, you want to click on add a forwarding address. So I'm going to type in our email. Okay, click on next. And then of course confirm by clicking on proceed after you check your email. Okay, and then it says here a confirmation code has been sent to verify permission, of course, uh, so you don't send the emails uh, to just someone that's not you, okay? Uh, so I clicked on okay, and then here it says uh, later on we're gonna verify our code, uh, our email either by a code right here, or we can just click on the link. So now I'm gonna go to our email account that we want to forward to and right here you see an email astroweb in forwarding confirmation uh, receiving email from the other one so all you basically need to do is go here to confirm request click here so I'm gonna click on it in the new window and it says uh, astroweb Inc. may now forward mail to okay so let's go back to the account now let's refresh the page Go back into the settings and we'll do the final step okay so again settings forwarding and pop imap now under forwarding it's still disabled so what you want to do is click on here forward a copy of email to you want to select the, the email and of course if you want to remove it you can just remove the email um, and then you want to select and figure out if you want to keep a copy in the inbox you want to mark it as red if you want to archive or delete it so I, I typically uh, in this case I want to just keep everything in the inbox as well as forwarding it and I'm gonna click on save changes 